Oh boy, here we go. Strap in as I talk about my 100-hour odyssey in the Starfield. It's Bethesda's latest galaxy-sized sandbox where you can experience the thrill of discovering vast expanses of... nothing. Starfield in a nutshell is Bethesda's bold leap into the cosmic unknown. It's the promise of a universe teeming with life, adventure, planets, and lots and lots of more planets. Today, I'm not here to nitpick every rock I turned over, but to give you the lowdown on my space saga and answer the burning question, was it all just a waste of time? After 100 hours of game time, what's my take? Starfield is... it's, it's okay. Oh, you expected more. Fine, let's unpack this interstellar diamond in the litter box. Starfield is the quintessential Bethesda game, meaning it's a sprawling, open-world RPG that's big on exploration and it's a little bit quirky in execution. They've taken their formula, slapped on a space helmet, and launched it into orbit. The result? A universe where side quests often eclipse the main narrative, proving yet again that Bethesda's true storytelling prowess lies in their detours, not the destination. Bethesda's ambition is written in the stars with a thousand planets to explore. Sounds awesome, right? Well, brace yourself for a bit of a reality check. A galaxy filled with plants as empty as a Kmart parking lot? Not really my idea of fun. It's vast. It's empty. And it'll have you wondering if your GPS is broken because there's not much out there. Initially, I roamed the stars like a lost puppy, expecting Starfield to just throw me a bone with interesting encounters and quests. Nope. Turns out you've got to hunt for the good stuff. This isn't Skyrim, where quests practically fall into your lap, but in Starfield you need to actively seek them out. It's like playing cosmic hide-and-seek. When you do find quests, that's where Starfield shifts from being space oddity to be a game worth playing. The catch? You gotta sift through a lot of space junk to find these nuggets of enjoyment. Bethesda's main quests have never been their strong suit, and Starfield's main storyline is as compelling as watching C-SPAN. In games like Fallout, wandering off into the sunset usually leads to cool discoveries. In Starfield, not so much. You're more likely to find the galaxy's most boring rock collection than actually stumble across anything remotely interesting. It's a missed opportunity that makes exploration feel less like a journey into the unknown and more like a trek across the world's largest parking lot. I'm not sure how this could have been fixed. The game world is simply too large to populate it with interesting content in every crevice. The only solution would have been to make the game world... <gasps> ...smaller. Like Bethesda's previous RPGs, Starfield gives you a few companion characters to follow you around. There is no dog meat in this game, but there are the members of Constellation. Bethesda does its best to write them as interesting characters, but this kind of thing has never really been their strong suit. This isn't Mass Effect, and no one can compete with Garrus or Rex in terms of personality, but they do their job. Unlike Skyrim, you can't just marry whoever the hell you want. Your romance options are limited to the four members of Constellation meaning it's very unlikely that any of them are really going to tickle your fancy or wherever the hell you like to be tickled. Most of them are just a bit bland, but their companion quests are alright, I guess. I don't blame anyone for not liking the slim pickings on display in this game. Except for Sarah. Don't you dare talk about my Sarah. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself. I got a stick. After 100 hours, my take on Starfield is that it is a game with moments of brilliance buried under rocks of cosmic garbage. It's not all bad, but it's like finding a needle in a haystack where the haystack is the size of a frickin' moon. Well, I guess it's all I have to say. Starfield is a game that dares to ask, what if Skyrim were a thousand times bigger with the same amount of content? Let me know about what you think in the comments, or don't, I, I, I don't know. I might be too busy 
exploring and scanning the rocks of that 999th planet by the time you post it. 